John Hunter Nemechek to officially join the club. Wednesday evening, John Hunter Nemechek announced that he will be joining Legacy Motor Club, or the club, as they love to refer to it over there at LMC, in 2024, taking over the number 42 car, which will be a Toyota Camry next year. Don't forget, Legacy Motor Club switching to Toyota in 2024. Makes total sense, right? Uh, Noah Gragson was always going to be out of that car regardless if he made a uh, untimely like on Instagram, one that he definitely should not have done and got suspended by the team and NASCAR. Legacy Motor Club was always going to move on from him at the end of the season. There are already rumblings about LMC making that move to put John Hunter Nemechek in the car next season, even when Noah was still employed there and hadn't been found out for liking that George Floyd meme. So, it was always going to happen. It just, you know, got sped up in the process. And now everybody's like, you know, LMC was just looking for an excuse to put John Hunter in the car. John Hunter was always going to end up in that car, if we're being completely honest. If Noah, making the mistake that he made or not, was never going to be there in 2024. So, unfortunate for Noah, if, you know, take out the fact that he liked that George Floyd meme, unfortunate for him that he was going to lose his ride pre, you know, what he did but the guy just didn't perform. And now all we heard from Noah Gragson fans was, it's the equipment, it's the equipment, it's the equipment. And then Carson Hosar goes out there and runs top 20 super competitive at Darlington. And it's like, well, maybe it's not the equipment. It, maybe it was just Noah Gragson. LMC definitely as a company has appeared to have gotten faster over uh, the season so far and definitely in the second half. So good for them. And they'll be even faster next year, hopefully, with the amount of manufacturer support they'll be getting from Toyota. And I believe they will have a bit of an alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing, or at least they'll be getting the same information TRD gives to JGR and 2311 Racing. So for John Hunter, it makes total sense. And part of this makes me think that John Hunter is going to Legacy Motor Club and driving that 42 car for a season or two until the 19 car is either open or the 11 car is open at Joe Gibbs Racing whenever Martin Trucks Jr. or Denny Hamlin end up retiring. It feels like he's being put at Legacy Motor Club by TRD the same way Eric Jones was put at Furniture Row in that 77 car, teammate to uh, Martin Truex Jr. for a little bit, or the same way that Christopher Bell went over to the 95 at Levine Family Racing before being moved into that 20 car at Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, if you're Legacy Motor Club and you're moving over to Toyota, hopefully you don't get that knock on your door from Joe Gibbs uh, in that Grim Reaper costume and he takes you out because he has done with others. Didn't, didn't get 2311. They survived. But for John Hunter, it makes a lot of sense, right? He bet on himself a few years ago, stepped down from his cup ride in 2020 with Furniture Row Racing. No, no, not Furniture Row. Front Row Racing, my apologies, and the number 38 car. Vacated that seat, moved down, and then took over the number four truck for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Um, won a bunch of races down there. Moved up to the Xfinity Series this year in the number 20 car with Joe Gibbs Racing has won a bunch of races. Once again, I believe he's sitting at five as they head into their regular season cutoff race at Kansas this weekend, and he bet on himself. He got in bed with Toyota, aligned himself is probably a better way to phrase that, with Toyota, and, you know, trusted the process the same way Josh Harris wants you to trust the process. Yeah, Josh Harris. Uh, but for him, it worked out very well, right? He went down to the trucks, back up to Xfinity, now he finds himself in a NASCAR Cup Series ride for next season, which should hopefully be a competitive ride, which will then set him up to move into a even more competitive ride. Jimmy Johnson has long-term plans for Legacy Motor Club, and getting John Hunter Nemechek and Eric Jones is a really solid lineup for, the, for, for he and for any team, honestly, that's going to get either of those drivers. Obviously, John Hunter only has one Cup season under his belt. Kind of hard to gauge off of that, and it was with... Uh, front row before they became a little bit more competitive like they are now. So he did have some pretty good runs. He, I remember he had a really good run at Darlington when he was in that 38 car, a few good runs other places, and then he did finish in the 30s a lot as well. So you can kind of, it's hard to gauge, right? Especially for a rookie cup season and a guy that's definitely trying to outdrive his equipment because that's what you have to do at times uh, when you're at a team like Furniture or Front Row. Furniture Row, Front Row just cannot get those straight in my head today. Apologies for that. For John Hunter though, it's the right move to make at the moment. People are like, oh, he should have stayed in Xfinity for another year. Listen, he doesn't bring a ton of money with him. He has a little bit of money, 
Uh, but a lot of that was TRD sponsorship that he's been running this year. And if TRD says, you got to go over to Legacy Motor Club, guess what? He's going over to Legacy Motor Club because that 20 car is likely opening up for Corey Heim next season so that Tony Breidinger can take his ride at Tricon. Just rumors. We're just laying things out. But that does feel like what is the progress of this happening. So... For John Hunter, makes a ton of sense. He gets to move up to the Cup Series next year. Legacy Motor Club gets a really good talent and now gets to pair it with Eric Jones and hopefully they can build off of that and go into 2024 and 2025 with a much stronger driver lineup than maybe what they had this season and the turmoil that that team has endured. Jimmy Johnson will run select races next season in an 84 Toyota Camry, which is going to be very odd to hear Jimmy Johnson say the Toyota Camry, you know, whatever his sponsor is, Toyota Camry, because all we've ever heard him say is Chevy Camaro, Chevy SS, Chevy Impala, whatever. So that's going to be odd. But at the end of the day, Legacy Motor Club gets a good driver. John Hunter gets to move up. Toyota now will have eight, hopefully very competitive cars next year. Uh, just because more, I'm not saying this as somebody that wants Toyota to be good, wants Toyota to be bad, doesn't matter to me. I just want as many competitive cars as we can get on the racetrack, and I think if you're a fan of racing, you should want that as well, because more competitive cars means more parity, which means better storylines, different winners, and just more competition in general. And hopefully that's what Legacy is going to add to the series next year, moving over to Toyota and that whole TRD program. So... Good for John Hunter, good for Legacy, and yeah, we'll see what else. There only a couple Cup, uh, Cup Series rides open, 31 we know is open, potentially the 16 and probably the 10 for Stuart Haas Racing. So we'll see what those three rides have in store, but for now, the 42 is closed. So like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok at Card, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at Card Blog.